But back to the action, it is still Jeppy who ride up alongside King Edwards with about 250 metres to go. And with that home ground advantage now starting to show, Jeppy have taken only a slight lead over King Edwards. Remember, this is a slightly shorter distance to race over. Different tactics, different uh, stroke rates as they come up into the enclosure. And Jeppy just start to move away with that home ground advantage. There is overlap, but it is Jeppy who win on the day. Great shots there of the crews as they come in from their race. And we see the results. Jeppy take the gold medal here at the National Sprint Regatta ahead of King Edwards today with the universities having to settle for bronze. I think, you know, the, the important thing was we had a camp first. We started off with a five-day camp out in Orkney and that really gave me an opportunity to get to know the boys. You're staying with them, you're living with them, you're interacting with them. Um, but it's been really easy, you know, I've come in with the, the club's been very welcoming. The boys have been fantastic. They're a very coachable age group, they're responsive, they want to get out there, they want to make the boat move fast. And in a rowing fraternity, that sort of thing makes life very, very simple there. Last season, um, three, three of us used to be in the same four, and then two of our members left, one of us, one of them being the Cox. Then we joined with Nizam and Cole. And since then, we've had a really good start to the season, getting a silver at Gauteng Champs. And we got a new coach recently in January, and for the way the season has gone so far, to get a goal today is quite a nice positive. And traditionally, the last race of the regatta is the senior men's A8s. As they line up across the course, we see crews from Tux, the University of Johannesburg, King Edwards, Jeppe, Parktown, and a second crew from the University of Pretoria. Great starts there for these crews. King Edwards closest to us in the red tri suits. They'll have to work really, really hard to keep up with the stronger guys from the universities. Good start there for Tux in the second lane away from us. Good performance from this Tux University crew as they come through into the last 500 metres of this race. But it is in the middle of the course, the King Edward's first date with a lane five out there on their bow. Having to hang on with the uh, Tux crew here closest to us in lane seven. The Tux crew, stroked by uh, Charlie Britton, certainly a long rowing family. Both his brothers are medalists in London and uh, Rio. But as they come closest to us, we see the schoolboys just having to work really hard against the university students here closest to us. We saw Sotsaka in action earlier in the single, and here we see him again in the eight, just having to work really hard to hold off the schoolboys as they come into the last 250 metres. It is Tux who lead King Edwards, and then we have UJ out there on the far side in the, in the orange tri-suits. Lots to fight for here between the university students and the schoolboys, but it is still Tux who only just lead King Edwards as they come into the enclosure and take their last couple of strokes. See Sotsaka there sitting at the number six seat, just helping his crew along. Crew now in uh, view is the crew from Jeppy, but up front it is Tux in lane seven. See Charles Britton there just having a look across Crews just having a look across where the finish line is. They know they only have a slight advantage over King Edwards, and it is Tux who crossed the line less than half a length ahead of King Edwards with the University of Johannesburg finishing in third place. JP finished just out of the medals in fourth. Great race at the end of the day and a great weekend of racing at the National Sprint Regatta. The men's eighth has just won. Um, there's, there's a few new guys, first years. Uh, there were new recruits in there. Um, all the guys training really hard and uh, it was really good performance from them. We just looked to execute a really good race um, and really just work on being together as a unit and it worked out pretty well for us today. To commemorate their 110th anniversary, the Victoria Lay Club was proud to announce a unique event, the first ever VLRC Corporate Challenge. The challenge was sponsored by RMB and saw several corporates participating. I think as a club, Victoria Lake have done a great job of hosting this regatta once again. It just gets better and better every year. So to, to Victoria Lake Club, particularly the rowing section who have hosted this weekend, it's been a fantastic regatta. They obviously wouldn't have been able to do it without their sponsors. Um, we've had some big sponsorships from Eskom, R&B, and it really has been great to have them on board and uh, supporting rowing. 
I think one of the other highlights from this weekend is the participation of Masters. Uh, one of our biggest constituencies uh, growing at the moment is Masters Rowing and it's amazing how many Masters are coming back into the sport or parents of school kids that are coming back into the sport and partaking in rowing and we really have had one of the biggest Masters entries I've ever seen at a regatta in South Africa and I think that's a, that's a great sign for our sport. Uh, there's lots of support out there. Well done to the Victoria Lake Rowing Club for delivering yet another splendid National Sprints Regatta. We're looking forward to next year's event, where we'll once again see South Africa's class act rowers make a demanding sport look effortless.